Like a candle, or you want to use your iPhone light? No, I will light candle. Now, this is the drawing of the cave. The cave called Tombs of the Prophets. Like a candle, or you want to use your iPhone light? No, I will light candle. Now, this is the drawing of the cave. The cave called Tombs of the Prophets. The prophets are the last three Jewish prophets from the second temple, Bihai and Zechariah. We come down the steps. We are standing here. Two circles. The first one contains the tombs around. The second circle, a corridor to pray. All together in the cave, 50 tombs. The prophets and their disciples. The prophets are the last three from the Old Testament time. Haggai, Malachi, Zechariah. So, Haggai and Malachi buried in the center, in that room. The half circle that side, the followers of Haggai and Malachi. And the other half, Zechariah, his followers. Now, Zechariah buried with his followers. How do we know the grave? All the followers' tombs cut archway. Zechariah cut square. I will put a little candle there so you can see which one. We are talking about 500 years before Jesus. Why these prophets buried on Mount of Olives? It's connected with the prophecy of Zechariah chapter 14, which says the Messiah will come from heavens to Mount of Olives and will be the resurrection from the Mount of Olives to the Temple Mount. That's why they are read here to be the first who's going to be resurrected. That's why the Jews use the whole Mount of Olives cemetery, because all waiting for the Messiah. Now, all what you see here, cut by hand, starting from the hole in the ceiling there, that's the first entrance. They come down, finishing the round circle, then they need large space to take the rocks out, they open the main entrance. And then they continue digging inside, and this is years of work. Here you can see like the chisel marks, the way it's cut, so all chiseled into the rock. Also, four basins like this one for washing the hands. Because Jews, when they bury someone or visit the cemetery, they wash the hands after to be cleaned. So, I will walk with you, continue. This is the first circle. And at the right side, this is the disciples of Haggai and Malachi. I'll show you one so you can have an idea how they bury the size of the grave. Take a look at this grave. It's one meter deep from the ground level down, two meters long inside. And each grave have a ledge step from the beginning to the end. The other side broken, the end is still there. So Muslims and Jews don't use coffin, wooden box. They just trap the body with the white sheet, lay him down, and between the two ledges, then they bring flat stones on top, from this side to this side, pieces to the end, they seal it, then they cover it with the soil, level with the floor. That's how they bury. Then it becomes a box into the rock. We come to the inner circle, which is used for prayer. No tombs, here and all the way there. So what do we mean by prayer? Take a look here. This is a table cut into the wall, broken by time. Up there is like cut like half a chapel. So here they bring the dead body, they make the prayer for the body, then they bury him in the tomb, like the funeral service. Here you can see the height of people from there to here, like five feet. They are not really tall people. We continue to Haggai and Melan. This is the two prophets buried here. So opposite us there is Haggai, the grave of the prophet Haggai, and the right side, the grave of 
the prophet Malachi. So Haggai and Malachi buried in this room. Now I will take you to Zachariah. Now this is the disciples of Zachariah. Now how do we know the tomb of Zachariah? All the disciples' tombs cut archway. Now take a look at this one because this is not broken the steps at the left side and the right side. So they put the body down, the steps, the slabs from this side to this side, pieces, then it becomes a box into the rock. This is Zechariah. Now how do we know? This paper there is prayers. This is square cut and there round cut. And this is the only grave have a description in Hebrew, Zachariah, the name. Now this is Zachariah the prophet, not the priest. Because in Jerusalem too, Zechariah the prophet from the Old Testament, this one. Zechariah the priest, the husband of Elizabeth, or the father of Johannes, that's down in the Kidron Valley from the New Testament time. So this is Zechariah the prophet. We continue. You can see it's high, it's wide, open corridors for ventilation and for light. Because it's a big number of graves to ignore smell and to keep it fresh. They used it that way, which is hard work. This is the last corridor for prayer and no tombs.